glory of these 40 days, number 127. Please rise. Covenant that I will make 
for the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, 
who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. Whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. And a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, The voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise One of the things I've not been able to do here yet at St. Peter or at St. Leo and haven't really done in any year is at this part of my homily to invite children forward and since we've opened up a little more and it's been a little safe at events, I invite children and you can decide who's a child, Ralph, if you think you're a child, you can come forward, but otherwise looking for again any of the elementary or younger children, I invite you to come forward for just a moment. Come on up here. I know it's something new, but come right on up here. I see there's children. Don't be scared. Just keep a nice little simple message, but I want to gear it towards children. And I also feel good just to have a seat right up here. We'll start. I just feel that extra call because there's a child in the southern parishes who at a, at a meeting the other night, and his mother said to Carrie, the child's having a harder time coming to Mass, not as interested coming to Mass, because I don't even get the opportunity to come up with a sit with Father anymore. So I thought, well, that's probably a call. Just come right on up here. I'm going to sit right down here and next to you. Good. Welcome. Can you do that just for a short moment? And does anybody know what today is the beginning of? Do you know what today is? began early this morning where we're, we're getting ready for Easter, but we're, we're saying goodbye to the winter season. What's the next season? Spring. Today is the first day of spring. So I decided to go and plant flowers. Is this how you plant flowers? Is that how you do it? Is this going to grow if I just stick it in that there? What do we need to do to plant these flowers? What would I have to do? Put the seeds in the ground. I have to open up package. I'd have to do some right, right? We have to do that. Get the dirt ready, plant the seeds, get my fingers a little messy and dirty, put them in the ground. We'd have to do some work, right? Yeah. And then you can plant that. Jesus talks tonight about planting the seed. How they bring them the guys to sell that can produce new life. And only by being planted can it grow that way and produce good fruit. Can we do that? When I mentioned Easter's coming, huh? Can, you know, it's two weeks away. Can we do some good stuff to plant good fruit on the springtime of life? New life's going to start coming about. And again, and we'll get the nice warm weather and the rain comes and things start. Do you plant flowers then too at your house? You need to plant then good seeds. Can we do that? Plant seeds of God's love. How can 
we do that or who can we share God's love with? Who do we share God's love with? Other people, huh? Family, you got brothers and sisters, huh? We share that. You go to school or we share that with others, huh? We plant the seeds that way of faith and then new life comes about. And then even I hear, plant the seeds of God's love. This here plant is reminded of me, it's been sitting again in my house. We had it for my anniversary celebration, which we had again six years ago already. Hard to believe, really, my 25th anniversary. And planting the seeds was that day. It reminds me every day, I need to make sure that back in his own pagana, planting the seeds of faith by my love, by my love. When we take time to pray as we do to Mass here tonight. So I invite you to work and continue to plant those seeds of Jesus' love, and it will bear good fruit. Sometimes it takes a little time for that plant to grow, but we do our part, right? And good seed comes about. So as we get ready for Easter in great joy, I thank you for coming forward. We'll do this at other times too, because I want to special message for you, and I hear even the adults kind of listen and they learn something too. We, even we can learn how for you children. So I thank you for that. Thank you for coming forward and sharing God's love. So I just ask God's blessing. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So as we plant the seed of God's love, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Put God's word 
word in there to remind you what I'm doing for you. We need to make room. God, right in my heart. God, come into my life. I struggle when I try to do all the things on my own. When I want to do it my way of life. When I want to go about, even in faith, I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll do this. And then God says, no, just get out of the way. I will do it for you. And our thing is making room then for God to write it in our hearts. For God to do that to us. Because God, as we sang in that beautiful psalm refrain of Psalm 51, create a clean heart in me, O oh God. God wants to create that clean heart. God has forgiven, as we heard in Jeremiah, the sins of the people. God is going to create us anew by forgiving us. And yet in our own lives with the weeds again, and see it's got that outer shell on it. And we don't really want, again, God, times to get in there, we don't want to break that open and allow God, allow that seed to really sprout and be broken. What is it in our hearts that needs to be torn open? Where can Christ create that anew in our lives? Because He wants to create, we pray, create a clean heart in me, O oh God. As Holy Week approaches, we want that clean heart. We want God's love and mercy to come into us. We want that open for us. Jesus did do that so he could glorify himself, so that he could show all people how special he was. He did it to glorify God and the Father. We go forth when we allow Jesus to plant that seed of faith and life in us and create a clean heart in us, that we go forward in all that we do in the springtime of life and planting new seed to give glory to God so that others may see the glory of God. You know, the two came, the Greeks came, and they came up to Philip. We want to see Jesus. Where do we see Jesus? Where can we see him? And it happens then that we can see Jesus when we give witness to him through our lives. You know, it reminds me of the story in World War II. An American was taken prisoner in a Japanese war camp. And in that camp, then also thrown into his prison with him was another Japanese that had been a traitor to his country to help the Americans. And so he was being treated really badly. And at that time, he'd be thrown into the American cell, and the American would be given some food, but not to Japanese. So the American prisoner would take some of the food and give it to the Japanese to feed him. And also, when he had been hurt or beaten badly, the American would take care of his wounds and wipe him and help him and clean him up and really care for him. That happened over a few weeks and upon a month later the man was thrown back in his cell after a horrible time and the man in America knew he was dying and said have you come to know Jesus? Have you come to know the one who will save you? And the Japanese said to him, if he is anything like you I can't wait to see him. As we go forth, as we plant the seeds of our faith by the witness of our lives, by the witness of Christ to one another, we can have others say, I can't wait to see Jesus because I see Jesus in you. And that comes in through dying to self. We have to be that seed that dies. Because life only comes about when that seed is planted and it dies to self. Salvation could only come about because Jesus died to self on that cross for us. And we're getting ready for that Holy Week time to be reminded of Jesus' everlasting love for us. Where he died to self to give glory to God the Father. As we get ready to Holy Week, let us pray we're giving glory to God by sharing the joy of our faith, by praying with one another and for one another, that we're giving witness to our faith but to one another and saying, yes, I see Christ in you, and I can't wait to see him. Not only here in the Eucharist, where we are nourished by that seed of life that died to self and feeds us with his very life at every Eucharist, to nourish and strengthen us, so that we can go forth and give glory to God.
Let us pray this week we give glory to God. Let us pray for one another that we're ready to gather and enter into a holy week time and truly celebrate as a very holy time in our lives where we know Christ is ready to create us anew. Because we all have enough troubles in life, but we all want to be like the Jews. We want to see Jesus Christ. And we want to see Jesus, especially in Holy Week. So let us pray for that gift to one another. And let us go forth in prayer, in praise, in giving glory to God our Father.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. For the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacraments through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that free from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Lord, the bread of life, 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Holy, we pray that our taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on your sins, but the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, <laughs> whose body and blood we have a communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. There, uh, just a couple of announcements. <laughs> Excuse me. We get ready for Holy Week next week, and you see the Mass in the schedule. We'll also see the rest again of Holy Week, not only with Palm Sunday next weekend, but the other schedule. And there will be Easter Masses here at 10.30, <coughs> and also in Tyler at 10.30. They were put in the bulletin. We'll get them in the bulletin for next week. But again, you also can see the schedule online on our website, too. So please know that and truly enter into this Holy Week, or this Holy Week, Holy Week like we would most and of our Holy Week Masses and things that are done in that, and a little bit of changes. Also, next weekend, we'll move Holy Communion back to its regular time at our Masses. So please note that and we get ready again to celebrate it. Thank you to all who are working hard on decorating music, preparations for the Holy Week, those who have ministries during Holy Week. Thank you for that and help make it really special in all of our parishes way, the gift of Holy so please check the schedule over closely and again truly enter into this great upcoming season. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless, O oh Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what at your promise they desire. They may receive by your generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace this land. The Mass is ended. Amen. A very blessed day, evening, a blessed week, and a very blessed and holy, holy week. Well, a couple more announcements there. Please sign up for the Holy Week schedules. It's on the back and the back. Plus, there's... Sign ups in the back for any ministry volunteers to sign up. Music cantor, lecturer, Eucharistic ministers, rosaries, ushers, please fill in your phone number, preferably your cell number. And what ministry you want to sign up for, what mass you'd like to have. And there's also schedules for March and April already in the back. Also, Father uh, Mike will be here in the station. Well, we have in the stations of the cross again on video from Jerusalem this Friday night at 6 p.m. at St. Peter's. Please come and pray the station. And also, just reminds me of upcoming schedules after we get through the Holy Week and Easter. Um, again, looking at schedules and upcoming weddings, we're probably moving both our 4 o'clock Masses to 5 o'clock so I can celebrate weddings. So we have a get to the area of Masses. So we'll Excuse me, we'll get that out this week and we'll make that clear in our schedules. And I'll also move the later one on Saturday to 7 o'clock. We'll close with hymn number 311 as we gather at your table. Number 311.